back to Essex LSC Res TV where today is my first video since the last game of the season when we say goodbye to Jurgen Klopp. If you've not seen them videos yet, check them out on the channel. It's a 45 minute video, so it's a long one, but it contains everything. Match highlights, uh, coach arrivals, goals, the whole post-match um, celebration, Klopp's last ever fist pump. And uh, yeah, just watch it if you haven't seen it already. I was going to do a shorter version. I've still got all the files to be edited on the timeline, but I think there's no point in keep hashing the same video. So I'm going to keep to, to the two videos. Are probably unless I, well, I don't know, I might change my mind. Depending on our uh, lack of content I've got over the coming months, but today I'm bagging this. You know, start of a new era. The Arn Slot era. I'm bagging this. Same same uh, rules as previous videos, you know, I'll unbag it now. You can watch me unbag it. Um, I'll do a few close-ups of all the details and then I'll come straight back to give you my honest thoughts and opinions. So stay tuned, enjoy the unbagging. I'll be back in a minute. seen what I've unbagged it's a new Liverpool shirt player version for this coming season first season managed by Arn Slot oh, still heartbroken really from Jurgen Klopp not being here it's like kind of oh yeah but it's going to be a weird one I kind of want pre-season to start obviously I want to enjoy the Euros hopefully England win but um, as soon as England get knocked out then fuck the Euros off Concentrate on pre-season. Just interested to see what he does with the team. Um, be quite interesting to see um, signings, potential outgoings as well. But this video, I don't want to waffle on too much. It's all about this uh, player version home shirt. As always, I'll show you some close-ups. We've already seen the close-ups when I've unbagged it. But Live Bird looks wicked. The material... Feels fantastic. Stitching. Bang on. You know, I think I'd always kind of, I just like the player versions. I just like the material. Just a slight thickness of the material. Nothing else. Obviously, with the player versions, like I've said in all my previous videos, you have to go two sizes up. If you just want to get the standard version, then get it your normal size. But this is always two sizes up. It even says on the chart, sizing chart on the seller that I use. Talking about the seller that I use, it links in the description below as well as my kind of top picks of the kind of products on DHgate that I found I've purchased in the past and that I highly recommend. So check all that out. But this seller is by far the best seller. If you've been watching these unboxing videos, probably well since Nike took over Liverpool, um, you'd know it's always from the same seller. Never get any any issues. Um, saying that. I'm gonna to have to just cut the video here one second and I'll be back. But I just wanted to show you something. 
because I ordered this. I took a massive gamble and I ordered this probably a couple of months ago and I'll show you what come through. Hold that. I'm just going to pause. All right, so I'm back. This is like I just said, I purchased this. I took a mass gamble. Normally, uh, I don't normally do it. Sometimes I did it two seasons ago. I bought all three shirts and all three were wrong in the end, but um, they're still really nice shirts. So I kept them for the collection. They're just up in the loft where everything goes. But this is the one that I purchased quite a while ago now. And as you can see, it came with a rumored shield. I know when this, people were seeing this, there was a bit of an uproar. Fuck knows what Liverpool and Nike were even thinking of, even potentially putting this on the shirt. Looks absolutely fucking terrible. And especially with that design in the background as well. But this was the original one that come, as you can see, the badge is terrible. Look at it from here, look. It just looks really fucking bad. You know, it looks like when you was back at school and you just ripped an hole in your trousers and your mum just put a patch on it. You know, that's what it looks like. It's, they just don't even suit the shirt. But yeah, that's the uh, mistaken one. But that's going to charity, so that'll um, be fine. So going back to this one here, just do a few more close-ups, as you can see. Obviously, 97 feels like the rubberized raised one again. Same as the Nike tick. I actually prefer, like every video when I unbox a home shirt, I actually prefer the tick and I actually prefer the badge for the embroidered one that's on the standard shirt. I think that's a lot more classier. I'm not really keen on this one, but it looks nice, I suppose. It kind of gives that 3D effect when you look at it, you know. But overall, again, can't complain. Free delivery, I think it cost just under £16, you know delivered within probably seven to 11 days. You know, you just can't, you can't complain, you know, the quality of these. This shirt is like, what's 120 pound on the Liverpool Club Stop or Nike store. You know, you gotta be mad. I think if you're gonna buy it, you know, good on you. If you can afford it, obviously buy it, you know, but um, for people that if they're struggling or just, you know, every fucking season, isn't it? New shirts. It's not just one shirt, it's like, five shirts it's like home way third two goalkeepers shirts and then all the fucking training stuff that they release probably like two three times during the season as well as the lebron james uh stuff that they release it's just ridiculous you know how people can afford can think how they think people can afford to buy all of that you know the kids always kind of want the best ones you know you spend 80 odd quid 90 quid or whatever it is on a standard liverpool shirt for your kid you take it into school he'd be all proud as punch his mate's got the player the player version you know, and they'd be like, oh, God, we wanted the player version. It's ridiculous. For the price that these are, you know, you can't really tell. Who's going to really tell? It's a funny story on uh, the uh, news uh, last week, was it, about they're going to try and fi um, find people with fake shirts on. How are you going to um, gonna just do that? Going to go to every ground and monitor uh, up close people's shirts. Ridiculous. But these, honestly, you can't tell the difference between this and the and the original, but you know, until until these companies lower these prices, football shirts should be no more than forty pound. You know, that's what it should be. And I don't think a football shirts should need to be changed every year, every two years, like or three years in some cases, like it was when I was a kid. And that's all you need. You don't need to keep rehashing these new shirts. The designs on Nike designs are fucking terrible. Like I think, you know, they're designed by I don't know who designs them because there's really no fault. In it like this one i don't actually mind really but again you know it's just such all the concept kits you see online you know when all rumored new kits coming out so much better and uh than what what we get but hopefully as the rumors are true that nike uh, nike are leaving us at the end of this year or we're taking on adidas the adidas kits from my favorite kits as a kid you know hopefully we get some decent kits back and maybe they can look at the uh, the amount of money that they're charging and maybe look at reducing them because the prices they are, until the prices go down, you know, I'll buy these kits because I collect them. That's the only reason why I do it. I don't wear them every day. I wear them potentially for a match day. That's it when I go to Anfield or on a away day or whatever. But um, last season, mainly wearing this, especially from when Cop announced uh, he was going, you know, so... 
you know it's over a pound out over a hundred pound for a shirt they're probably gonna wear a handful of times a season you know probably maximum games i'll go to a season is probably like 20 so 20 times a season and you're paying 120 quid and that would especially if you want to have names and stuff put on it if you go to this seller pretty much any seller on dhk but go to this one because this is one that i trust and this is one that never lets me down always gives me good good quality gear then um you can have whatever name you want on the back of these name number don't cost any any extra so this if you're still here watching this video i highly highly recommend okay if you haven't bought the shirt already then click on that link go and treat yourself to one you know if it falls apart it falls apart touch wood i've been buying these shirts now for probably be five years i've not really had any issues with them i've got liverpool shirts up in a loft where real ones where uh, logos are falling off things are fraying you know colors are, colors are going yeah but these you know if it goes if you know, wear it into the ground wear it every day if a kid goes football in it ruins it just buy him another one you could probably buy how many i don't know massive so probably nine nine of these shirts for one real one you know so it just makes sense then it really but like i've said if you've got the money and you want to buy the real one then buy it obviously don't forget your club membership if you're a member or if you're season ticket holder you're getting 10 percent off but yeah so that's it for this one um i will be reviewing uh the second shirt the or the away shirt and the third shirt uh but i'm going to save them to near the time once they're kind of officially kind of launched online i think that's when i'm going to put my order in um just so i don't get unstuck like uh that one a few months back but it's fine but honestly i'm so glad that logo the, the badge got changed that shield was just ridiculous um i think i would refuse to wear it if um if that would actually have been the shirt for this season but yeah i hope you enjoyed the video um like i said all the links are in the description below if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Please like this video, share it with anyone that uh, you think might find it useful. Um, yeah, I'll see you all very soon.